Hi, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to my auto repair videos. This video, I'm going to show you how to remove a wheel lock in case you lost, misplaced, or can't find your wheel key. Not so that you can steal someone's fancy rims. It's very simple to remove the wheel lock. All you need is a 12-point socket. Make sure you have a 12-point socket, not a 6-point socket. And make sure that this 12-point socket can fit onto the lock snugly. I mean, it should be around the same size as your other bolts, but it should be able to grasp onto it. What you want to do is you want to take the socket and you want to insert it on. Take a hammer and knock it in. Don't worry if it gets stuck, we'll show you how to take it out later. I think that's firmly on. What we're going to do now is take our breaker bar and take it off. Alright, now it's loose enough to turn this handle and just unscrew it like a screwdriver. As you can see, the wheel lock is out. Don't fear if your lock is stuck in your socket. You can take it out. What you want to do is you want to take a larger socket that the wheel lock can fit inside of, and you want to take a metal rod or an extension, and you want to put it inside. You want to take a hammer. A uh, big hammer is best because you can put much more force in it. But a small hammer is fine if you do have the arm strength, and just knock it out. Now, let's see if I'm able to do it. Okay, I guess it wasn't that tight in. But as you can see, we got the wheel lock out. And your socket is still intact. All right, so talking about the socket itself, uh, right now we have a Craftsman. Any brand is fine, Cobalt, Pittsburgh. Uh, as long as you have a lifetime warranty because these things can get broken from this operation. Uh, but talking about the, <laughs> the wheel lock itself, my dad, we, so here's what, here's the story. We lost the wheel lock key um, prior to this and my dad actually ordered some and they arrived about two days ago. He was gonna replace them yesterday, but before he could get home, he got a flat tire. So he had to call a tow truck and I think there's a picture that should show up of the tow truck to get it back here. So, <laughs> That's why he had to figure out how to take out this wheel lock without a wheel lock key because we lost it. And as you can see, on that side, we've already replaced it. At the end of this video, there should be some clips from me trying to do trying to do this operation on the other side of the car because that was our first take and I messed up a lot. And it took me a few tries. <laughs> it was harder. But for now, it should be all right. And also, one more thing. This car is about 80 foot pounds for the nuts. Some cars might be 90 or 100, so it would it might be a bit harder and you might need to uh, knock it in a bit uh, harder. So for me, it's a bit easier because I use my weight to take out the lug nut, but just make sure you keep that in mind if you're working with a 90 to 100 foot pound car. This is the old tire. So compared to the new one, these are actually winter tires. This is a summer tire, but you can see the summer tire it's flat. Now, to add insult to injury, when my dad saw on the tire, you can see that they're getting a bit, I think the word's bald, uh, or maybe like sanded off, but the point is, he ordered new tires, and they're supposed to arrive a few days from now. So I guess while he was driving this car, the wheels heard what he was going to do, and they decided to give up on him. So funny story, but when he got home with the tow truck, uh, he was able to replace the, bol uh, the, the tires in about under 15 minutes and we have a video on how to do that uh, how to replace your tire in under five minutes and it's because of this handy dandy handy dandy impact driver go check that out right here we have our new locks uh, you can see them come from that envelope right there so we're gonna put them back on now just keep a note uh, we have the new key right here that your old locks let me make sure that these ones don't get mixed up the old locks will not work with the new key because as you can see if I go closer okay that's a bit noisy but okay 
they have different patterns on them. The, rig the ridges or grooves are different. So if I try to put the key onto this, you can hear that it's not gonna lock on. But if I try to put the key onto here, hold on, there we go. Now it locks on, now we can put it in. I mean, it might, it might just be better. Oh yeah, let me mention, these locks have about 10 different variations to them. So it, it's, only, it's like a one in 10 chance that your new lock, your new key will fit to the old key, but I wouldn't bet on it. Anyway, it might be better just to use a universal lock like this. I mean, universal key like this. Um, maybe I shouldn't say that in case any people who want to steal cars is here. Um, I mean, steal rims is here. Uh, just a discretion warning. Please don't use my video to steal anyone's rims. Uh, I don't want to be responsible for that. Uh, but anyway, I guess we're going to put it back in. And while I do that, uh, I guess I'll talk about the, the tow truck. So some people may ask, how come you didn't use the tow truck to go to a garage and get them to remove bolts? Now that's a very good question. Uh, one reason why is because it usually costs money to do that kind of operation. And also, um, my dad has AAA, so he hasn't used it in a lot in many years. So finally, he decided to get it, put it to good use, bring it home, and do it himself. So also, the tow truck was free if you couldn't tell. So. In our case, it didn't cost any money. Okay. We're going to use a torque bar. Like I said before, 80 foot pounds. Oh, it just doesn't ratchet. I forgot. Yeah. This, this torque wrench is a bit weird. Oh, there we go. So it's quick, which means that it's torqued correctly to 80 pounds. So, I think that's it. Oh, by the way, shout out to that tow truck, uh, it's, it's free, so it helped us get this car home, and I, I bet my dad was probably wondering why did this have to happen. Not only did he order a new key, he also ordered new rim, uh, a new wheel, and it broke down right before he got them. So I guess all's well that ends well, and that's it. Alright, now we're going to add it back on the other side. We're going to use our impact driver this time. Uh, and I might as well mention that we didn't use uh, the lock on the front wheels because they have a different type of bolts. Something having to do with a lowering on the bolts or something. So, let me just put this on my hand. Impact driver. And now we're going to torque it because I'm not sure just how heavy this is. I think this is um, 300 foot pounds, so probably overkill. Alright, so while I torque this uh, to 80 foot pounds, I might as well mention that I use wheel and tire interchangeably a lot in my videos, but actually, they're not interchangeable. See, this silver part right here is called the rim. This black rubber part is called the uh, tire. Some people refer to this whole thing as a set of wheels, and some people refer to just the rim as real. But just a lesson for people who might not realize that they're using the wrong term. And for me. So it's torqued to 84 pounds. You can hear that quick. I use my body force. I mean my body weight. And that helped me tremendously. Also thanks to this impact driver. Now mentioning the impact driver, I said earlier that this was 300 foot pounds. And that's actually incorrect. This is the big bomber. This is 700 foot pounds. A lot of force. And that's why I said it would be overkill to use this to tighten it. So we had it set to speed one. So that means it's not gonna completely destroy the bolt. So too much force that I can handle, but that's all right. All right, so it's very simple. All you need is a 12 point socket that's just the right size to, it's not too small, to grasp onto the wheel lock. It should sit in snugly. Now what you want to do is you want to take a hammer and you want to knock it on. So now that it's on tight, we're going to take our pry bar. We're going to unlock it. Okay, that was a bit too loose for me. I wonder 
I'm gonna knock it back on. Don't worry if it gets too tight on because I'll show you how to take it off later. But for now, Oh yeah, I forgot that you can actually swivel this uh, pry bar. I don't need to take it out. If it falls off, just knock it back on and keep trying. By the way, this is not the right way to hold the hammer. But just for sake of the video, I'm doing it like this. And if your car has some alloy rims, it might be a bit scratchy. So just be wary of that. All right, so my dad just told me that uh, the smartest way to do this is to, instead of going all the way around, is just to hold the breaker bar at this single point and just keep spinning it around like a screwdriver actually and it's way easier than uh, going all the way around and eventually it comes out now in order to take this off we take a second socket it should be big enough to hold the um, the bolt inside of it keep that upright Take an extension like this, or some long uh, rod, insert it inside, and just knock it out. There we go. Both your socket and your lock are okay. Alright, so I think that's a good place to end the video. Um, if you want to know some other methods to get out the um, bolt, or the, the lock, uh, you can get it taken out at a garage, you might have to pay money, um, or you could use a vice grip. Now I don't have any of those at here, at home, but you can always use those. Um, I don't know if they'll work for if this method will work for bolts that have that little um, case around it that prevents it from the, that kind of theft. But for now, if you have a regular lock like this, it should work. But for now, I'm Iman, and thanks for watching. Please like, like, comment, subscribe. We've got other videos on I and Iman. Uh, maybe some that are containing my cat Irelia right here. Uh, some auto repair videos. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on this Honda right here. Uh, maybe maybe that Prius once we fix it. But for now, I guess that's it. Signing out. Peace.